Day three of the French Open, the fastest rundown in sports. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Let me get you caught up to speed, ladies and gentlemen. Elena Rabagna, she takes out Greet Menon in straight sets. Elise Cornet calls it a career as Kenwin Jong sends her packing in straight sets. Elise, we want to say bonjour, comment allez-vous. We've enjoyed all of the memories over the years. Upsetting Serena Williams as a 20-1 to underdog. Upsetting Iga Fiantek at Wimbledon again as another 20-1 to underdog. A ton of amazing memories. You are a warrior, and we're thankful for everything. Anna Blinkova, Serena Kerstea, we pick up here. And listen, guys, I say it all the time. Anna Blinkova is a really good tennis player. But I feel she goes as far as her conditioning. And look at her. She's in shape. What happens? She takes out Sharana Kersaya in three sets. Amazing win for her. What about Arasa Roos from the Netherlands? Huge underdog on the day. Two to one underdog. Taking on three time. Three time. Three time slam champ Angelique Kerber. Uh, Ransa Roos pushed the pace very fast and aggressive, and Angelique could not keep up. Ouch. Little Peyton Stearns, NCAA champion. She takes out Sirak, who I felt Sirak would play a lot better, but Peyton Stearns wore all black, and she went to a funeral today, and it was not hers. She gets the victory. Great. What about Dasha? She would have to call for the physio. Her knee was injured. Now, this got scary after she took the first set. This was in the second set, and I'm watching the match like, uh uh-oh. Is Dasha not going to be able to finish? Let's monitor the situation. If something's wrong with the knee, that's not good. Could it be inflammation? I don't think it's inflammation this soon in a match. Normally, that's going to flare up after the match. That concerns me. But she she has enough left in the gas tank to take out Magdalena. Fresh. She gets the victory. Dasha moves on. What about don't cry for me, Argentina? Carly taking on Elisa Mertens. Now, listen, this match went exactly as I said. I said Carly's going to put up a fight. She's short. She's physical. She's strong. But Elise Mertens will prevail. And that's exactly what happened. Mertens advances. What about Tamara Korpach? from germany listen she's got a great demeanor she has to be fun to be around she's got she might have a second career as a comedian but i told you guys this number was off aston kruger a five to one favorite listen guys why not take tamara corpats to win a set and she had to win a, she had a chance to win a match she was up four one in the third set tie break but what had but what had but what had happened was Aston Kruger would come back and have match point, but Tamara Korpatch gets the upset victory outright, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, why why not sprinkle a little bit on Tamara? There's no way Aston should have been a five to one favorite. That's an upset outright. Maddie Patty from the United States, ladies and gentlemen. She's playing solid tennis. She's got to be one of the favorites to win it. And she destroyed her opponent. That's right. Madison Keys gets the victory over Renata Zarazoa from Mexico. What about Mara and Dreva, little sister? By the way, Sabalenka took out big sister Erica and Dreva in straight sets. And Mara, no match here. She's victorious. <laughs> Emma Navarro. Yeah, this was quick as well. Emma Navarro gets the victory. And Dreva. Look, Betkes played solid, but Mira was just too fast and too strong. And Emma Navarro takes care of Samnez. What about Anne Carolina Smidlova taking on Sarah Irani? Sarah, and I said how this match would go. Sarah Irani is going to be a little, her stamina is going to be a little too much for Anne Carolina. She's going to be too fast, just sliding into those winners. And Anne Carolina, I think she fell down for a temp time. She is out of there. Sari Rani wearing the all black. What about you, Chima? Listen, not much to say here. This was a blowout. She's victorious. She advances. And Yuyan taking on Mayor Sharif. Mayor Sharif in a wet, rainy day here in France. She had on the yellow and she brought the sunshine as she sends Yuan packing. What about Vika taking on Nadia Paderoska? Nadia is a clay veteran, but I talk about her stamina a lot. Vika outlasts Nadia. She gets the victory. She advances to the next round. Sloan Stevens taking on Yulia Putinseva. Look, I said exactly how this match would go. 
Sloan's not going to have an answer for the drop shot. At this point of her career, she's just not chasing them down. And that's exactly what happened. Sloan's still looking for answers. Ouch. What about Paula Badosa, Vamos, and Katie Bolter? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you watch this match, then you know this match was full of drama. And Paula Badosa lately, like I, I say it all the time, she's must-see TV. She's very entertaining. But her matches are starting to become just a drama fest. This match was ridiculous, guys. I don't know how many times she challenged calls uh, with Katie Bolter. And this is where it got interesting. Katie Bolter should have won. She hit winners that the chair and Paula Badosa challenged. The chair empire came down and overturned these calls. I don't know what happened in this match, but Katie Bolter got robbed. Yes, the fans were cheering loud for Paula Badosa. They wanted her to win this match. Huge Spanish following at this match for Paula Badosa. But Katie Bolter had to come to the net at least five times in between the second and third set where she was up a break in the second set. She had a chance to win this match. She had to walk to the line. And look, I told you she'd win at least a set. She did that as the underdog. Great. Great value, right? But the way she got robbed in this match, it was pretty bad. This, this, this was eye-opening. She hit several winners that Paula Badosa challenged, and they were close. They were on the line. Chair Empire got off the chair, came down, and overturned those calls. Key moments that would have one would have given uh, Bolter the break in the third set. I don't know, guys. This match was eye-opening. This this was interesting. And Paula Badosa, I don't know if she was doing that to catch. She was clearly tired doing stuff like that to catch her breath. But she would win all of the challenges. Bolter couldn't believe it. She she just smiled at each of them like, you got to be kidding me. Hey, Paula Badosa wins. Spanish fans excited. Now, day four of the French Open. Stay tuned. We got tons of tennis coverage. Guys, a little tired from jet lag, but the show must go on. We had some amazing matches yesterday, guys. And I keep saying it. The WTA has next. These ladies here, they're all talented. They're all amazing. How can you not enjoy the action, the popcorn-worthy, suspenseful matches that are being played here in France? It's amazing. Stay tuned today. We got Igas Fiontech, Naomi Osaka. Go check out the video I just did. Let me know who you think is going to win that.